In this presentation we look at the choose operator. The choose operator is a mathematical method of determining binomial coefficients. So this is how we denote it here. Uh, it's very hard to describe symbol. Well, essentially we have the brackets here, a, a term here n and a term here k. And what this is, is this is used to calculate the number of ways k items can be selected when there are n items to choose from. Now, just as a remark, there's alternative notation here where we have n, c, k, n as a superscript in front of c and k as a subscript after c. That's an alternative way of writing it. So the formula for the choose operator is as follows. We have, we'll verbalize this as n choose k, this term here. And it is computed as follows, n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial. The factorial of a positive integer, which we denote k factorial with this little exclamation mark here, is the product of that integer by every possible integer that precedes it, or that, that is less than it. For example, 3 factorial is 3 by 2 by 1. 5 factorial is 5 by 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. That's 120. 5 factorial can also be written as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Just looking back here, 3 factorial, that's the same as 3 factorial there. So we can actually write a factorial in terms of another factorial. Lastly, I'm just going to make one more point. 0 factorial is equal to 1. A lot of people would intuitively think that should be equal to 0, but no, it's actually equal to 1. And that's important to remember when you do these type of calculations. So I'll move on. So question, how many ways are there of picking two people from a group of five? Well, we have five people to choose from, so that's n, and we have to pick two people from that, so that's our k value. And we would write it as follows, five choose two. Okay. So the formula is again, uh, presented there again, and what I'm going to do is like, uh, put in the values here. So as I said there before, n is equal to 5, so we have n factorial on top. 2 is our k value, so that's 2 factorial there. And n minus k necessarily is 5 minus 2, and we're going to get the factorial of that. Now, 5 minus 2 is actually 3 factorial. So we have 5 factorial equal divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. What we're going to do is sort of simplify this using the sort of remark I made earlier. 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. So what we can do here is 3 factorial and 3 factorial, they cancel each other out. So we're left with 5 times 4 and that's divided by 2 factorial. 2 factorial is simply 2. It's 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So the answer is 10. Now let's do ways are there of choosing four people from a group of five. So evaluate the following, five choose four. Very simple this time, very similar. Uh, all we are, uh, so we have five people to choose, some, choose from, so five factorial. There We have to choose four from that five, and five minus four is one. So five factorial divided by one factorial times four factorial. Now, as I remarked earlier, 5 factorial can be written as 5 times 4 factorial. So 4 factorial and 4 factorial, they cancel each other out. So we're left with 5 divided by 1 factorial, which is simply 5 divided by 1. So our answer is 5.